Alright, I've noticed there's not a lot of videos on how to clean up uh, Sperry top siders. So I'm going to show you how, um, how I do it. I don't know if it's right, but we'll give it a shot. It always works. So you can see my shoes are pretty uh, rough shape here. look faded and just kind of nasty. But uh, basically I use this stuff. It's called leather lube. I don't know where to get it. But I have had it in my cabinet for a while. I just use like a microfiber cloth. You can use any type of rag. And I put a glove on. I'll show you how to do this. Let me get set up. Alright, so you put the leather, you put the glove on. Use this stuff. Comes with this little applicator pad. I use it sometimes, but you just want to rub it into the leather. You can see it shines up. It produces a really nice uh, waterproof layer. I like to just go like this, get a lot on there. It's going to look like you're ruining the shoe when you're doing this, but uh, it works out real nice. Just want to hit every surface. This produces a nice waterproof barrier too for in, in summertime. I even I usually do the ties and everything. Just keep pushing it into the into the leather, into every little crack, every seam. You can see it's starting to darken up and starting to look pretty nice. Just keep working it into the leather. You'll notice all the scrapes, scratches, everything like that starts to come out too. You can already see a difference there. It's looking nicer already as opposed to the one that's not done. So I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around the shoe, getting in every single crack. And uh, I'm going to stop the camera for a minute. Okay, so I got most of this leather lube on, and uh, you can see plain as day that, you know, the difference is pretty good so far between the old one and the new one, and uh, that's just rubbed on right now. Next step is basically just rub it off with the towel. So you take this and just start rubbing it into the towel, or into the shoe, I'm sorry. You'll notice after letting it sit for a couple minutes. Let it absorb into the leather. Doing the laces and everything with the lube. Sorry about the filming here. I'm by no means an expert shoe polisher, so take it as a grain of salt, all I know is it works. And I've done this probably three or four times now to these shoes. Every time I'm always impressed by how well they come back to life, you know. first time I did this I thought I really wrecked the shoes but it actually worked out perfect it was kind of an experiment I was like how do I get these back into shape and I had this stuff laying around the house thought I'd give it a shot I think they were for my uh, wife's boots actually so I used them on here and they seem to work real nice 
I think you can do it with any type of this leather, leather protectant. Now that shoe is pretty much done and it'll just soak its way in and uh, you can tell it looks a lot better. It looks a million times better. It's like brand new in person. It uh, looks pretty much brand new. So then you just basically do that to the other shoe and that's, that's how it's done. That's how you polish top siders. So these are now the top siders complete and uh, I forgot to mention earlier if you put more on if you the heavier you put it on and the longer you let it sit the shinier and darker they get um, but yeah I mean these things were like just rough shape and uh, I'll put them outside so you can see them in the sunlight Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty good now. Just like brand new almost. That's how you polish top siders.